Welcome back. You're tuning into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, Cape Town is still in survival mode as the city's water supply continues to drop during the ongoing drought. Now, to combat the water shortage in the mother city, the local municipality will be implementing water rationing this week. Now, to give us the latest update on the water shortage and the rationing process, Mayor of Cape Town, Patricia DeLille, joins us this morning. Madam Mayor, thank you very much for joining us. Good morning, and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you very much. Always lovely to have you. Are you well? I'm well. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a lot going on. Exactly. I can only imagine what you guys are dealing with at the yeah. moment. But let's talk about this water rationing. Um, but from the municipality statistics, how much water is left for the city of Cape Town? We didn't get our normal winter rainfall. Mm. So our dams are currently at 38%. And only 28% is usable because you can't yeah. use the last 10%. And so... Um, I must say that I'm very proud of Cape Townians. Um, since the beginning of this year, we were trending at using about 1.1 billion litres of water. Cape Townians have come together as a team, I call them uh, uh, Team Cape Town, and we've reduced the water to 585 million litres per day. So thank you very much to all the, the Cape Townians. Mm. But then, of course, you always have a few that don't want to listen. Think because they can afford to pay, they continue to yeah. abuse water. And the 55,000 that we've identified earlier the year, we've reduced that now to about 28,000. And what we've done is to fit a water meter device that restricts them to 350 million liters of water per day. But I want to assure Cape Townians that I will not allow a well-run city to run out of water. But we are in this together and we must save together. Mm. So yes, the situation is critical. We're going into the first phase of our disaster risk management plan, and that is to ration the water now. And uh, I mean, like you rightly said, I mean, yes, we, it, it is very yeah. much a team effort because for yes. the individuals that's yes. not adhering to it, I mean, there's a knock-on effect, you know, because yeah. you're directly impacting um, other citizens. Of and Cape it's Town also not well. fair on those of us who are saving water. Absolutely. I can't yes. remember the last time I had a normal shower. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> let's talk about the, ration, uh, the water rationing that was implemented this week. Exactly what will that mean and how will it work? What does it really mean is that, you know, normally water a pressure push water through the pipes so that it gets into your tap and my tap. So we are reducing the pressure, meaning that less water will be flowing uh, than normal. So for instance, um, if you live in an area where somebody lives up the hill and you live down here, mm -hmm. if the person downhill uh, use more water than normal, it will affect the house living uphill because water work on pressure. Yeah. So there will there not be enough water and pressure to push the water the up to the high lying areas. And that is why this team effort is necessary whereby whether you live on the hill or downhill, continue to use less water, then there won't be any dis disruption. But once they use more water than what is currently in the pipes, that's when you get disruption. Okay. And we expect those disruptions to be between 5 o'clock in the morning and 9 o'clock. That's when everybody's getting yeah. up and, and shower and all of that. And then also between uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon and 9 o'clock at night. Okay, the peak periods. But we are really managing it as mm. best as we can. We will be communicating with the people living in the high, high living areas to, to, to explain to them that what to do should the, the mm. water be disrupted. Mm. I know the fact that you guys also pride yourself on their communication and making everyone aware of yes, what is we, going we, on. Yes, we do have to pick yeah. up on the communication. I think we've been very mm. good in communicating, driving the demand down. Yeah. Uh, we've not been that good in communicating what are we going to do when that day arrives? Mm. What, what, what is the plans that we have? We I want to ask do. you on that. Yes. I want to ask you on that. If we, if we reach the point of a full-scale disaster, yeah. we're in phase one of water rashing now, which yeah. is the phase one of disaster management. Yes. What is going to happen at that stage? Should it happen, which we don't want it to happen? Exactly. We have been following a two-pronged two strategy. The one is to drive down demand, and the other one is to say, let us augment our water supply with water other than rainwater. 
So there are three ways we can do that. The one is with water desalination. Mm. The second one is to drill water underneath uh, the ground and the water springs step mm. into that water resource. And the third one is to reuse uh, treated wastewater. So we've got a plan for all three uh, desalination. Mm. We are currently in the process of putting eight different plants around the city, whereby uh, um, we will have a like a modular land-based desalination plant. So the water get pulled in this side in the sea, mm. the salt gets taken out and pushed out on mm. the other side. So we've got seven of those plants around the city of Cape Town, and they're gonna come on stream one by one. Mm. Um, the one at the waterfront that we've just launched on Sunday will be start pumping water on, uh, I think, in the mid-February, mid, mid -February, mid towards the end of February. Um, today I'm going to go out to Atlantis, where we've got an underground aquifer that has been pumping water on a daily basis, and we've refurbished that to also show Cape Tonians mm -hmm. if you do have a plan and that we will not run out of water. Mm. But it is conditional that we have to continue to saving together. Exactly. Yeah. Madam Mayor, thank you very much for joining us this morning it's and for the hard work pleasure. that you guys are putting in thank as well. Thank you so much. And like um, Mayor Patricia Dull said, uh, rightly so as well, we all need to work yes. together. Even though those plans are in place, we still need to take care of the water that is left. Yeah, thank you.